Michael, tell us about your avant-garde design. I wanted to create this avant-garde, futuristic, neon ninja warrior princess. I like the idea of this. The execution falls short. These chaser lights in here are very noisy. They look extremely Christmas tree to me. And then her waist kind of going on and off like that. I don't think a person wants to call that much attention to her waist. To me, it was not a pretty silhouette in the dark. Ponytail might be a great idea, but for some reason, what goes on around the ponytail is so distracting and so kind of bulbous. And it's a great idea to just focus on the eyes. It's a great idea, but somehow it falls very short to me. I like the direction that the lines are going with the shoulders, and I kind of like the ninja thing too. When I see that, I just keep seeing like Mortal Kombat meets like Grace Jones. It does look like leather and a lot of tape. The thing that's going around the waist is braided. I wish you would have concentrated more on that, because that could have really been interesting to make some sort of, you know, some sort of communication with that. I was like, oh, that's braided. Like, man, he should have started there. These are really expensive, and we don't really get a ginormous budget for them, and you only get so much. But like, you know, the go-go lights, you know, in the in the shoulder, it's just not necessarily my thing personally. It doesn't really work for me. She's more fit for like a Comic-Con. Perfect for that.